Peace and good day. Uh Peace and good day, everyone. My name is Bertram L. And I am your host today. We are here for our weekly Raise It High Live. Well, we are listening today to Flow Assist, the Flow Assist, her breed. Breathe by flow assist, the flow assist. As we think about going into the year of 2021, and we consider the reflections and the lessons and the gains that we, or triumphs and things that have occurred in 2020, it's been an unprecedented year. We want to be mindful about being prepared for the challenges that will come when we set out on new goals, right? We've all had opportunities to set new goals and start change, but oftentimes at some point throughout the year, or during the year, we end up stopping, right? And so today's goal is to make sure that you have some inspiration and understanding that why those stops and those pauses occur. But then also I'm going to share one specific simple technique that you can use to overcome these distractions and challenges as they arise, right? And so as we think about using an analogy of farming or harvesting or doing a garden, right? When we think about goals, goals require preparation the same way that soil requires preparation. So before we can manifest the outcomes of our goals, as we are going through the process of manifesting our goals, we must be sure to prepare the soil, right? The flow assist is speaking a lot about letting things go, letting go of those worries, those fears, those doubts, those comments that no longer serve us, whatever it may be. So when these doubts and these fears arise, they must be addressed in order to understand them for proper management, right? Different crops require different conditions and maintenance. So these fears and doubts can become our norm. Change can be hard and sometimes even scary. But when these seasons hit, remember there is nothing wrong with you and you can overcome these simple challenges. Keep going. You have the choice to see the opportunities for growth. It is a natural process for your stress response systems to activate intense emotions, fear, anger, aggression, poor memory, and so much more. But when these things such as being overwhelmed or the symptoms I've just described arise, I want you to use this one very simple technique, right? And it's sending common signals to the brain is rewiring the trauma that and chronic stress that we've experienced, right? So this is very simple. It's really important that we utilize the breath. This very simple free resource that we have, the breath. So if you place your hand on your belly, when you breathe, you want to make sure that your belly is rising with air as you inhale and, and deflating with air as you exhale. All too often when we've experienced trauma, chronic stress, or overwhelming stress, we end up breathing in our chest or we just stop breathing altogether where we're literally walking through life holding our breaths except for the moments that we need to inhale and that is because of our stress response system being on so when you notice the stress response system on be it overwhelm anger irritation trouble sleeping having fears or doubts or any of these things this very simple exercise we want to teach you now is called grounding it's something that is free and can be done by anybody almost any age and can be done with no one knowing that you're doing anything at all right so all you do is while you're breathing you identify five things that you see in the room and as you're breathing and labeling these things ignore the thoughts that attempt to creep into your mind bringing your attention back to the things you're labeling and or your breath then you notice four things that you feel it may be something like your clothing on your skin it may be your hair on your body if you wear glasses it may be your glasses on your face four things you hear three things that you hear that, I'm sorry, four things that you feel and then three things that you can hear, right? It may be a sound inside of you, outside of you, outside of the room, inside of the room. And then you come over to two things that you taste, right? It may be something you're craving. I'm sorry, two things that you smell. It may be something that you're wearing, a hair product, something within the room. And then lastly, the one thing that you taste. And that one thing that you taste is something that you may be craving, something you've had recently, right? Maybe the toothpaste in your mouth. Who knows what it is, but at the end of the day, what we're using is we're identifying these five different senses in the breath to send common signals to our brain so that we can bring ourselves back to the present moment and accomplish whatever challenge it is that's presenting itself when it comes to accomplishing these goals we have set for ourselves in 2021. So breathe and remember that your efforts and your intentions are also accomplishments. They matter just as much as the accomplishment of the goal, right? So like 
please let us know in the comments what you'll be doing for 2021 so that we can ensure that Raising High Lives is supporting you and accomplishing your goals. And remember to breathe. Breathe at all times when you're overwhelmed, when you're stressed. This is something so simple that you can do. And you have no idea the benefits of them physically, emotionally, spiritually, all of these things, right? So I encourage you to breathe. Remember that you are important. Go out there and shed that light and accomplish the goals that you have set out for yourself. But remember that preparation is required. So it's maintenance, as is the idea of recognizing and understanding what it is that is challenging us, right? If there are insect problems attacking our plants, we can't address the insects if we are putting up a gate because we think that they're rodents, right? And so again, it's really important that we lean into what's coming up for us and use those as evidence and resources to identify where we need to grow and how we can identify our challenges our, in our successes. So thank you for joining me this today on Raise It High Live. Please like our Facebook page, our Instagram page, like and share this video. Let us know what your goal is for 2021. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a safe and healthy New Year's Eve. I'll see you again next year right here at Thurs on Thursday, Raise It High Live.